Hey everyone, Averpot here, and today we have another Transformers Legacy figure to look at, and this time it's Prime Universe Bulkhead. And this is a Voyager class figure. Very cool. I was looking forward to getting this. Over on this side, just some pictures. I know, I've been doing a, a lot of the old ones lately. I'm, I'm kind of, this is what I like about getting into things late. Like, I used to like Transformers back in the 80s, and now I like them again. And because I waited so long, I don't ever have to wait for things to come out. There's always something from the past I can get. Whole back catalog. But, so, turn around. He has 31 steps to get to this. Now, there is another bulkhead from Prime Universe. Part of the Wrecking Rule or Wreckers uh, line, that a subline they put out. But, uh, and his goes to 31 steps. Why 31? I don't know what the difference would be between the two, but I'm not going to get that one because it's the same figure with, like, camo color scheme. I don't need the camo, but pretty cool. So, let's get him open and take a closer look. All right, so here's Bulkhead. Now, he has instructions. They always do. And regular Legacy is just a blue, but you know what? This looks like a really sharp image on the directions here. I love that. Uh, sometimes I'll look at the directions and it looks kind of blurry or faded, but this one looks really good. Everything looks great. So I shouldn't have too many problems. And these are his accessories. So he has a shield, which this will become part of his vehicle mode. The uh, back part, back roof of it. Comes with a Energon Blaster. And he comes with his hand hammer. So, this, I uh, don't really remember him using in the show at all. Actually, I'm on Season 2 now. I'm loving it. And I also don't remember him having a blaster? Maybe he does have a blaster. I could be wrong. But I know he uses this all the time. Because that's what he's for. He's a wrecker. And this is him with the shield and the blaster on. Eh, I didn't notice until just now, but it's like a Gatling gun. Pretty cool. And this just pops on the back with a little peg. Now to put this on his hand, you would actually open it up. Pretty cool. And then you just pop it in, close it, and that's just like he is on the show. Now you can also put his little uh, Gatling gun in his hand, and you could put the shield right onto the wrecking ball. Or if you want, you could put the shield on a peg right here on the side of his arm, and just have it there. So you can have both his hands free. Oh, and one more thing, when it's up here, it just goes on this little side tabs on the gun here, but uh, it doesn't stay in that great. It does come off quite easily. So, yeah, and also it doesn't go completely down. Uh, it's always going to be a little bit pointing up. All right, so, you know, I have to say, Bulkhead looks pretty good. They especially got the head down, I think. The rest of the body, I mean, it looks nice, even though it's not how he is on the show. Uh, his body is actually more of a round shape. But because this is a legacy is all like G1 inspired versions of everything, this is what we get. We get a big old boxy guy. Kind of a shame they couldn't go with the round route. Kind of wish they did. But he's got the nice green to him. He's got a lot of silver, a little bit of black, like on the bumper here, and tires. He's also got a little bit of dark gray, like for the arms and the hands. And he has a transparent blue windshield, and he's got blue for the all his lights. And he has blue eyes. Turn him around. You know, it looks pretty good. I don't see a lot of waffling going on. Like, the bottom of the hands have a little bit of waffling. Eh, it's not too bad. And, like, the inside of the thigh area. But again, not that bad. They managed to cover up the rest of it with, like, stuff. So here, you don't... See the inside of the leg. Uh, he is hollow pretty much inside his uh, torso, chest area. See right up in there. I get it. It's for the transformation, but I don't know, maybe they could have closed it off. Put some flaps here or something. I don't know. He does also come off like this kind of easily. It has two little tabs here, but they don't stay. Like they go in and it feels like they're tight, but... The slightest movement gets them to come out. Really cool looking figure. I, like I said, I just wish they 
made his body rounder. But then again, RC doesn't quite look right either. She looks too bulky for her frame from uh, the Legacy line. But I hope they come out with some more. I'd like to see a uh, Starscream from this. I don't know if they'll ever go get around to doing that. Probably not. But one can hope. I mean, eh. Then, you know, I'd like to see Optimus Prime, and I'd like to see all of them. But for now, this is pretty cool. I enjoy it. So let's go over some articulation. The head cannot go all the way around. He goes to about there. Unfortunately, his chin hits all this other stuff. And you can't, like, pull it upward. It's as high up as it goes. He can look down and up and down a little bit. Not much. No side to side, really. You get a little ribble wobble, but yeah, that's not going to cut it. For the arms, nice 90 degree. They will spin all the way. Right up here is where we can turn it. And then the arms at the elbow, we get past 90. And then we get the hands. Those will spin around. There. Alright, waist goes around nice and smooth. Move the arms out of the way. Do a split. We get a 180. Now he can actually go forward 90. We can go back past that. Now he hits this little plastic thing or right there. If you move this out a little bit, he can go all the way back. Looks like we should be able to. Oh, oh, there we go. Mine was just stuck. There we go. It spins now. Knees. Oop. Yeah. Another problem I come across is the, uh, that's the second time a tire has come off of them. They just go in. A little snap, but they come out so easy. Alright, back to the knee. Past 90 by a little. Then the feet. So they can go inward. And they can go forward and back. And the heel also can go down. So now that we've got that all out of the way, let's go ahead, transform him, and take a look at that. And here's Bulkhead once he's been transformed. Pretty cool. The shield is the top of the back here. He's got six wheels that touch the ground. Not too free-flowing. And he's got two spare tires, which you actually can't use. <laughs> can't even turn them when they're on the back. Pretty cool looking, I like it. Oh yeah, it has his Autobot symbol right there at the front. On the back, you can see where his weapons can be held inside. And if you just lift it up, you can see the gun in the back too. And they also help hold together the back, because when you put them together, they make these little pegs, so. All right, well that's just been my review of Transformers Legacy Prime Universe Bulkhead. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And as always, you all have yourselves a good one, and I will see you later.